All right, Birdland. I wanted to take some time to discuss the 2024 offseason. Uh, what I think the Orioles will do, what I think they should do, trades they may make, players they may trade, players they may trade for. Just an in general look at the Orioles uh, offseason. Um, because I do think we're going to be competitive next year. I do think we're going to contend next year. I think there's going to be natural regression from a win-loss record. Only because we did so well this year in the win-loss record. It's unrealistic to me to expect 101 wins next year. Um, so I think there can be some regression while there's still progression. Um progression as a team but probably some regression in the win total not so much because of the Orioles but I wouldn't be surprised to see the Yankees rebound the Red Sox rebound um wouldn't be surprised to see the Blue Jays still around um Tampa it wouldn't surprise me to see them take a little bit of a step back um since we already know they're without McClanahan um I don't think Wanda Franco ever plays baseball again, although there hasn't been much in the way of news on that front. Um, and we do have an innocent until proven guilty policy in this country of ours. So we'll see what happens with that. That being said, um, when you look at the Orioles offseason, and you listen to the Mike Elias press conference to end the year. The biggest thing I think we need is we need a quality starting pitcher, a person that can go out there and give us six innings every four to five days that can stop a losing streak if we get on it. Um, some of the names I've heard in recent days um, and even reacted to on social media, Brady Singer's not that guy. He, to me, that's that's not any better than anything we already have. I would rather have, I think I would rather have Dean Kramer over Brady Singer. I don't see Brady Singer being an upgrade to the rotation. When I think of an upgrade to the rotation, because I see Kyle Bradish, somebody we already have as a low-end number one, high to mid, mid number two, so that being said, you want to couple him with a guy like a Corbin Burns, a Dylan Cease, um, maybe a Logan Gilbert or a George Kirby, um, Ed, Edward Cabrera, I don't see being that guy because he's not proven anything any more than anybody the Orioles already have um so ideally you're looking at a Corbin Burns Dylan C situation now you know what do you have to give up to get those guys um we have a plethora of outfielders we have a prep we have a stack of infielders I personally do not want to see us give up Jordan Westberg I think Jordan Westberg should be our starting second baseman next year. Um, give him second base. Let him run with it. Give him shortstop if they don't think Jackson Holiday is ready to start the year. Um, although it would surprise me to see Jackson Holiday not our shortstop to start 2024. I think, barring a truly disastrous spring or an injury, I don't see any way that. Jackson Holiday doesn't start for the Orioles. Um, let's see here. I think, like I said, I'd give Westberg second base and let him run with it. Um, Joey Ortiz, if he's not in a, in one of these trade packages for one of these starters, um. Let him be our utility infield. You know, he's the guy that fills in for 
third base, second base, shortstop all throughout the infield. Um, if you ask me who is most likely for us to get, I personally would choose Corbin Burns. I want Corbin Burns, I think. But then again, I'd almost want one of those tra one of those opportunities where you, you agree to a trade, but the trade doesn't go through until you sit down. You have that 48 to 72 hour window to work out a long term deal. So he just doesn't walk after 2024. Um, I know Dylan. But then that brings. But then if you can't get that, brings you to Dylan Cease because you do have Dylan Cease under control. Um, but if you get again personal choice, I'm taking Corbin Burns every day. Um, which brings me in, and the, and these are questions I want you guys to answer in the comments. Who do you want to see the Orioles get for the rotation? Um, and who do you think is most likely to get traded? Because I think one, at least one of the three outfielders, uh, Mullins, Hayes, or Santander, are definitely going to be traded in some sort of package for a pitcher. Um, my father, I was talking to my father about this this morning. He actually said he wouldn't be surprised to see a scenario where all three end up traded. Um... I saw a proposal on social media from, I believe, Bleacher Reports where it was Cedric Mullins getting traded in a package to the Brewers for Corbin Burns, and then you turn center field over to Colton Kowser. Um, the bottom line is the Orioles have so much young talent, you have to find a way to get them on the team, on the roster. Um... I think this team is going to look very much the same but different, um, younger and quicker. Um, incidentally, Dr. Pepper Cream Soda, if you've never had it, you got to try it. Absolutely good stuff. And though they're not paying me for this, this is just good stuff. But back to the Orioles, real quick. I mean, you gotta give you gotta give something to get something. Um, we need starting pitching. <laughs> Who do you think is more, more likely to get traded? Hayes, Santander, Mullins, or a combination of all? Th combination of the three, or do you think we run it back with all three? I think running it back with all three is the least likely. Um, I think most likely is Santander. Um, I could see Santander ending up in Chicago with the White Sox and, and a Dylan Cease deal. I don't see... I could definitely see... I could definitely see Santander ending up in Milwaukee because one thing I think Milwaukee showed was they need bats. They need somebody that can hit the ball, that can, you know, make Bernie Bernie the Brewer slide down that slide. <laughs> um, then, is Colton Cowser the first man up for the Orioles? Is he the guy that takes that? outfield spot from one of those three or is it Kudurstad or is it Sowers I would say Sowers is the least of the three but are you giving that spot to Kudurstad or are you giving it to Kowser I would say Kowser first then Kudurstad um let's see the other, the other part you know when you circle back to Jackson Holiday you know, you got to assume Jackson Holiday's your starting shortstop. Again, barring a disastrous spring or an injury. Um, but if not, you know, do you play Westberg at third? Um, Anderson at short and 
Ortiz, if not if he's not traded at second base to start next year. Um, these are just some of the questions running through my head as the offseason gets ready to start. Let me know what you guys think. Be interested in your thoughts. Leave comments. 